Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in beautiful Norway. I don't actually know, but that's just where I'm going to guess right now. In fact, I'm actually going to go into Sweden right now and a little bit lower, probably around... Sure, right there. I don't actually have any knowledge of that. Let's make that guess. And uh, no, Norway first guess was correct. Fiddlesticks. Anyways, that's not the point of this series. The point of this series is to create a timed challenge. And on that three minutes time, that's the best amount of time because it allows you to make a guess. And you get a nice URL. Post it down in the uh, description below. You guys can follow that. Do that challenge. Come back to the video and then watch, compare. So how I did and how you did. 6LKT is the end of that URL. That's going to be down in the description below. And let's start off that challenge. Oh, yes. Very good. This is such an exciting series, and I really enjoy doing it. Why? Because... Okay, well, I can... Um, I guess I'm going to have to exit full screen and uh, go... Uh, just enter again, yeah? All right, great. Here we are. Beautiful. So that was annoying. And then just make it go full screen again. I have to exit full screen every once in a while, which is uh, sort of an annoyance. But, uh, you know, things have to uh, happen. And uh, uh, you know what? I'm a little bit... Uh, no, I'm not, not worried at all. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Great. So what the heck is this? Well, we're by the sea somewhere. And, okay, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep moving on down. That sort of threw me off a little bit. But uh, this, I can almost guarantee you, won't be very good. I have no clues right off the bat on where in the world I am. And I don't really know if I'm ever going to find any. We see some sort of fence, and it looks quite old, perhaps. And there are grates on it. Is this South Africa? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I guess we're going to find out. What does this say? Oh, we are not in South Africa. Betande Jur, forest. Well, that means Europe, I guess, which is really interesting because that doesn't really help me at all. Uh, and what about this sign over here? Um, the, again, that is just, that, that doesn't help me at all. And what about this? There's like a coast, and it looks like we're on the Rydern coast of, of this area. Hmm, this is very interesting. So we're in Europe somewhere, where they, where, oh, there's a car that's coming up. I, I gotta try and get to this beautiful car. A guy riding his bike. Sir, do you have any clues for me? Uh, you've got, okay, we've got a, uh, Someone of, okay, someone who's just uh, cycling, a cyclist, all right, interesting, and what does, what do your motor vehicles look like, I believe it, it looks like it's reversing, we got a Volvo, which is, uh, I don't really necessarily think we're in Scandinavia, but we might be close to it, um, and we might be, we, and we're in somewhere that has an interesting uh, language, honestly, we could be in Lithuania again. I mean, it could just, this could, this could be the same place yet again as we were in last episode. So, honestly, this, the, it seems right. It seems, it seems, it seems uh, very possible. All the sort of clues seem to be lining up. We're in Europe. We're not in, I definitely don't think we're somewhere like, uh, somewhere like Finland or, or Norway or Sweden. We're not in Scandinavia, but I also think we're in Europe and we're not in Russia, at least as, as far as I can tell. So why not? Lithuania again, make the guess, and we were in uh, this area, which I'm not sure who owns this. The numbers seem to be... Really? Is that is that Sweden? Seriously? Now, this island may have different road signs. I don't know who owns this. Honestly, my Lithuania guess wasn't bad. It's not very far. But uh, I don't know who owns this. Probably not Lithuania, but, I mean, it could be. Who owns Gotland? Hmm. That's interesting. I have no idea. Seems I've actually been on that island before. On uh, one of the... I think it was Sweden. I think it was honestly Sweden that owned this island. But none of that looked like Sweden to me. Anyways, that's okay. Let's click X and go to the next, Australia. Okie dokie, we are uh, <laughs> in Australia right now. And this is a little bit different. This this is going to be Western. 
Uh, there's an end sign and just there's a bunch of stickies on the road. So this is going to be, sure, we're going to call this Western Australia. Since the last time it was a lot more desert-like and we were in the north. And I don't think we're necessarily in Queensland right now. And, I, and in southern, I can't tell when we're in southern. I, I have no idea. We're almost never in southern. So, and uh, this isn't New South Wales and this isn't Tasmania as far as I can tell. So we're going to be going with uh, Western on this one, but honestly, we could be in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, which we probably are. I mean, seriously, Australia is giant, and I'm assuming most people live pretty much directly on the coast. Well, not pretty much directly on the coast. They live in cities that have coastal borders, should I say. It's not like, I mean, most people in Australia do not have beachfront property or waterfront property in any way. Now, I would seriously doubt that that percentage is any higher than uh, five? I mean, God, that's actually hard to tell, but, I, I mean, it can be a very high percentage of people that have waterfront property in Australia. I would say that that percentage is, I mean, it's obviously a low percentage. It has to be, uh, flooding, flooding happens here. Yeah, flooding, flooding can happen, and the beautiful, fl oh, look at this. Okay, so we've got, um, sort of a river delta over here, and I'm sure this river delta can flood, so we're gonna go on the 95, actually, you know what, this is gonna be the 138. Is it run 38 Newman Tabba Tabba Road? Obviously, we're on Newman Tabba Tabba Road. Come on, no, we weren't on Newman Tabba Tabba Road. That was such a lovely name, though. How how can this area flood? I mean, it's so inland. Jeez, whatever. We were on uh, something. We were on. I can't read. Cast blah, 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 highway. Great. So we were on that highway. Very far. 17 uh, 1700 points is very low. Oh, great. We're in Russia. Okay, so we are in Russia. Oh, wow, wow, we wow. Wait, is that... Is that a Russian flag? Uh, I guess it is, right? Just just making sure... It, yeah, it's a, it's a pure... Yeah, it's a pure Russian flag. Of course it is. All the, yeah, look at all this stuff and everything around here. Everyone here loves soccer. Uh, I don't know why I was considering whether or not that was a Russian flag. It, it clearly is. And we are somewhere... I mean, just look at this place. It's beautiful i guess what kind of store would this be and the problem the problem with russia is oh fuck oh we've got a mcdonald's uh, let's see what what are they what are they serving up at uh, uh mcdonald's it's 24 hours they're serving up a what looks to be a very simple burger uh a macabto and it's a uh, 31p which i again i don't really know what that means it's their value menu i'm sure but I don't really know what kind of currency this is. We, we've sort of sprawled into a much bigger city than what I was expecting this to be looking at that uh, other direction. Okay, so where is this big city? It's, uh, what is it, what does the geography look like? It looks like it's, we've got some piney trees, although I don't really think that it doesn't, is this like an overpass? People walk over the road in this thing? This is like a prison. Oh my god, you, if, I wouldn't go in this. You would get killed if you tried to. Uh, I think, geez, it's like it's like an overpass for a road, but it looks like you get shanked if you tried to go in there. The problem with Russia is that even if I did see the name of where we were, I wouldn't recognize it as the name. It would be in Cyrillic. Oh my God, look at this billboard. Someone, uh, I hope they're not paying very much money for that billboard. Uh, essentially, if the name was staring me right in the face, like it has in the past on the side of a police cruiser in, like, four episodes ago on, on the last user challenge 2, user challenge failed or whatever, broken, um, on that episode, even if the name was staring me right in the face, I wouldn't know it when I saw it. It's just, it's in Cyrillic, and uh, when comparing it to the Romanized names you see on the map here, it just doesn't work out. So what the kind of clues I'm trying to look for is just getting a general feeling for this place. And the problem is I've never been to Russia, and I don't know much of the geography of most of Russia, uh, really any of Russia. So uh, seeing this is mostly just for curiosity's sake. There's a cinema, it appears. Um, yeah, right over here, Sky Cinema. All right. Well, if this is Sky Cinema, we've got to be in sort of uh, this area over here. We're really not too low. Probably not. Uh, I would say we are probably not in Vonage, but maybe we're in Samara, Kazan, Nitz. Let's go. Let's go with. Um, let's go with Stratov. I think Stratov isn't bad, and if we were, we would be in Leninsky Renan. So we were actually in the beautiful town of. Um, uh, of okay, of Magnitogorsk or whatever the heck, Mag Magnitogorsk. Sorry, Magnitogorsk. 
which is a quite a beautiful town, I guess. Let's go click X and see. Wow, this is something. This is a sight to see. We've got like this weird little grass here growing up the side of the mountain. It's very tundranous. And then these big rocky like valleys. This is beautiful. This is a place in the world that I would like to go to. Although I that have not the foggiest where we are. Now one of the things that is going to help is if I don't go too damn fast, I might be able to see what the hell these signs over here say. And maybe catch a language, or at least what the language looks like. Honestly, we could be in Japan at this point. That's almost what my mind is going to. Japan, but I don't really have any way of knowing. This doesn't... that. I don't think is Japanese writing, although I can't see any writing on that. So that doesn't help me. Okay, I believe we're in Europe somewhere. Where in Europe is still a very good question. And the trees are... We could be in Scandinavia, that's certain, but where is a good question. Yeah, this... The, I don't think Japanese signs would be... So, uh, the writing would look uh, in, in block forms, left adjusted like this. So, I'm going to say that this is not, uh, indeed, Japan. I don't know, for some reason this looks like it could be. Japan has very wild roads. So, I, I, I was thinking maybe. But, but this road, it's a bit different. It's, we, we could be very north, uh, as it does seem quite, quite the tundra. So maybe we are in a sort of a Norwegian fjordy area. But again, this doesn't quite seem right. This honestly seems like something you might see in... I mean, heck, we could be in Iceland. I don't actually know. All right, let's go over here and see what this car... What, what, do, you, what do you look like? Well, you've... Okay, we're in Europe. We've confirmed that, but... Where in Europe is a very good question, one I am honestly not fit to answer right now. This road seems like it really wouldn't fare well in uh, times of winter when it snows, but this area definitely seems to me like it gets snow. I'm going to say Northern Norway because I don't really have much to go on, but seriously, the problem with a Northern Norway guess is that if I'm wrong, I'm going to be pretty far off from where I want to be, and I don't have very many points. Look at this. Everything is very strange here. Wherever this part of the world is in, I have no idea. And it's very, very beautiful. But, oh my god, hold on, there's a sign down there. I need to see what's on this sign. Um, Atensao, Modere Velocide. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not it. We're in, sure, we're in Italy. Make the guess, Portugal. Okay, well, thankfully... I, it was too much for me to think of what language that was. I just knew not Spanish. So, it was Portuguese. But that's okay. That was, I mean, be better than me guessing all the way up here, right? I knew it was. It seemed too hot for it to be Northern Norway, honestly. Which is why I was... And, and Northern Norway looks a lot more like Mars. 2,007 points. And we are in Russia again. Oh, boy. This isn't going to be around where I make a lot of points, is it, fellas? I do not think it will be... At all. There's not very many points. Uh, Russian license plates. Okay, everything is congruous with itself. And then a beautiful church. And not much else around. People looking at the Google car. They're like, what the heck is this? People wearing, I mean, really. Re I mean, look at this flower print shirt. It's beautiful. And, and this guy, he's expecting, a, this little child expecting a flood to happen. But he's got his pretty pretty rad blazer on. And these really crazy pa like pants and shirt. I mean, what an outfit this guy has. And look at this woof woof over there. Oh, a little puppy. Um, I thought there were uh, two identical women. Perhaps uh, they cloned themselves or something. But uh, I guess they haven't. Um, I can't really see much. There's a, a big sign right there. That's a, some sort of word. So a woman is um, pushing her baby down the road. But uh, here we've got a big tire right in the middle. I guess filling a gap. A big giant pothole. I guess it's better to run over a tire than it is to run over a pothole. Maybe. <laughs> and I don't even know. We're now on a paved road, which is nice, but... Okay, what part of what part of uh, Russia is this? This is this part of Russia. We're in um, somewhere like Amavir 
or yeah, somewhere like uh, Armavir. So we're in Armavir right now. Let's make the guess. No, no, no. We would all the way across uh, the world, Kazakhstan. So seriously, I don't even think I made 10,000 points. Oh, I did. I got it. Wow, look at all these. Look at these big, thick lines. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely terrible. One of the worst rounds in a while. 10,305. So tell me what you did to beat me. Tell me what clues I missed. Tell me, I mean, of course, one of the clues I missed was not seeing Portuguese um, when it was Portuguese. So that's one of the big things. Russia, very hard to get, honestly. Uh, Australia, eh, could have gotten luckier. And um, I could have maybe picked up that that was Sweden, but honestly, the Sweden guess wouldn't have gotten better. I never would have guessed that island. So there you go, 10,305 points. Um, tune in tomorrow for another very special user-generated challenge. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.